Servus, my friends! Welcome back in the Bavarian Outback. Today we make a little product test. Everybody knows about this little bracelet from Ignitable. Links down. If it's good, if it's not good, I think I forget about the link. So we will test it really, really hard today. Because everybody shows photos and I cannot buy anything with a photo, so we test it. We check if we can make fire without problems. Of course, that's what it is supposed to do. And then it looks like an arrow tip. So we make an arrow, a survival arrow, and then we go targeting something. And of course, we will open a beer with it, because the most important thing is open a beer. <laughs> Yeah, and then the cord. The cord is a special cord with a lot of special strings in it, with a fishing rod, with an ignitable cord, with extra cords which are really strong, and with the with the cover cord. And I think you can also use it when you put it apart. That's what the testing will be today yes and for the look of it looks like a cool bracelet i like the look let's check out if i also like the function so 10 30 in bavaria what should we do open a beer so the first testing without cutting your fingers it works more important than making a fire, you know. So the second test will be the firing. So first testing, self-made fire starter. You break it in the middle, it's made out of, I don't know, the, the cotton things you put in your face when you need to unmask yourself. <laughs> and some wax yes that's the first testing and then for the outdoor freaks we take birch birch and then for the outdoor freaks we take birch bark <laughs> i hope i pronounce it correctly and check if you also can ignite birch bark with it yeah so let's start You have to put this ferro rod a little bit up here, the cord, so that you have more space to scratch on it. And then you should put it in your fingers like this, that it's sticking out. And then you go to ignite the cotton, I hope. Ah, ah, ah. Ah. Okay. Next step, birch bark. You know it, we have to put it into pieces, make a little scratches, scrapes, whatever. I hope you can hear me because of the airplane. And then we make a little um, stack. Put it into pieces because it has some oil in it and then it should start burning. <laughs> Wollte ich gerade schimpfen, dass es nicht funktioniert. Yeah, I wanted to complain, but it started faster than everything else. He made it. 
he really made it. Next step, take you a little bit closer and we take apart this cord and see what's inside and what could we do with it. I hope you can see it pretty well. That should be some kind of fire starter. That's the, the fishing rod and these are the little pieces. So as you can see, you can get it out very easily. So that's no problem. And these are all the different cords. You see, it works, it also works. So it's, and it's not bad. You know, look, it burns for a while. So next test, I promised you, we built an arrow out of it and then we will shoot with it. So my friends, next step, <laughs> my favorite tool, you all know it. And here I have an old arrow, not an old one, but a broken one. I cut it up here because it's, it's broken in the front. And then we make a little slit in it. And then we put in the arrow tip. And I try to use only the cord that we have inside of this bracelet cord to fix it. I hope it will work. And if it's not working, then I take a little metal thing and, and wrap it around. So I think that's enough. Let's check if it works like I, I think. It works not too bad. So, pull it strong, put it down here, put it under it, put it all the way around, put it here, put it under it. So, and put it really, really tight. So, left thing, okay. Looks not too bad. So let's try it out. One shot. I don't need more. Or the tip does not need more.
Yeah, just for fun. That's not what it is supposed to be. So it hit it pretty well. And it does not sound like the tip is on anymore. But it's cool. It's flying. It was about 20 meters, I think. Now the next thing is finding the arrow tip in the target because I want to have it back. So my friends, that's it for today. Uh, let's take this out, off, out, however. Um, yeah, it's a cool tool. And it's a nice bracelet. I like it. So, links down here. I hope you enjoyed the video. What should I say? Don't buy crap, then you don't have to litter so much. See you next time. Have a great weekend. Bye bye. Okay, I've not found the arrow tip, but there is enough in the internet so you can order it and I like it. I like it. I will continue my search for the, for the missing arrow tip because I want to put it back together or maybe, maybe I take a cool leather cord and I make the cord out of leather because I, yeah, then I don't have the multifunctional cord, but I think it also would look cool in leather, maybe cooler. I don't know. <laughs>